Hey out there in art world, art land, coming to you with uh, day 22 of the core 80 call. It's Friday, we had a, a really great week, and so um, I'm going to tone it down just a little bit today, keep it uh, profound, but um, uh, I, I want to share a concept with you guys that uh, is art related, life related. And then I will link uh, either the resources to this in the description or add it to the comments, okay? Um, but I did a video maybe about a year ago, and I'm going to play that video here in a minute. It's, it's a little less than three minutes long. It's not long at all. Um, but it's on a, a really cool concept. It's about knowing how to find the armatures in your grids, uh, to, to create your grids, I mean, but your armatures in your rectangles. And then also knowing how to think like a composer so that you can actually then find the armature in your own life. <clears throat> in this case, uh, I create a manifesto for my family, and I'll share that with you. I'll give you guys a copy of it. And um, and I'd encourage you to adopt the composer's mindset and find out what is the armature for your family. What is the armature for your own life? And um, and the armature is that grid, that thing that you you know you you put structure to to give you some guidance, to give you some direction. It helps you define your core values. Uh, who am I? Who are we as a family? Uh, who are we as a company, as a business, as, a, as an academy? Who are we um, as a couple, uh, as, as a brother and brother relationship? Whatever the relationship is, because all composition is, is about managing relationships. And when you get that, you can then apply that to everything. Uh, how do you relate to you? How do you relate to your God? How do you relate to your family and your friends? your employees, or your boss. So it's all about relationships and learning how to manage those relationships and the imaginations in those relationships. So I'm going to go ahead and play this little video. <clears throat> and um, so that you can take a look at this concept and then I'll come back and, and, and talk with you a little bit a little bit more. So here's the video. Here is we discuss ideas. Hey, welcome to this Daily Bark. This is Victor Vargas. What we do here is we discuss ideas that deal with composing both life and art. And so today we're going to deal with armatures and family manifesto. <laughs> so when you have a rectangle, inside that rectangle there is a geometry, an architecture, a scaffolding, if you will, that is hidden in the invisible. And when you know how to make that visible so you can see it, it gives you a bunch of awesome things. One of the things that it does, it gives you like a grid in which you can place items in your composition that makes it harmonize with the whole because the angles that you pull from that rectangle are only unique to that rectangle. They are not unique to any other rectangle except the one that you're in. And so it becomes like the DNA of the rectangle. So how does that relate to a family manifesto? Well, a few years back I created a family manifesto for the Vargas family. And it was really cool because it became like a scaffolding, a mental scaffolding so that when my kids, you know, misbehave or step out of line, or if I just wanted to encourage them and equip them with, you know, certain ways of thinking uh, in certain situations, we had these principles, these ideas that we could attach sit, uh, the situations to. For example, we cultivate our family cultivates greatness. So if my daughter did something strange or whatever, I would ask her, hey, does that cultivate greatness or? or 
or doesn't it? And she would either answer yes, you know, it does or it doesn't, right? There was a time a few years ago where she was, like, really hostile, you know? I mean, not like, you know, I'm going to kill you or anything like that, but, you know, just, just cause some problems, you know? You know, one of the principles in our manifesto is that peace makes a home happy. And so if we weren't feeling happy, we're not happy now. We were happy 10 minutes ago. We're not happy now. What don't we have in the house? And she would say peace. And then we would deal with that. She would learn that she had the power to extend peace into our home or hostility. And she had to make a choice. She's pretty good at it now. It's just really, really cool. So it worked. But just like art, the armature gives us a way of placing things. And so does the manifesto. So when you're composing your children, basically, you're designing their psyche, you're designing their soul, you're you're cultivating. This is, in my opinion, what parenting is. Ciao. Oh, snap. Well, there we are now. Now I have a voice. Thanks, Peach. I was talking to the air. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. All right, so I have no idea what I just said there. But um, bottom line is that is the episode for uh, the composer's mindset. I mean, uh, for the... Uh, core 80 I'm a little flustered now the core 80 call but let me just take a minute and share with you what the core 80 call is what we're doing is we're calling out to the artists artists who are at all kinds of different levels in their career in their ability to execute their artwork 
I really don't care if you're just a beginning, you know, uh, maybe you worked your entire life and, and, and now you're finally entering into retirement and now you want to go back and, and resurrect those, those dreams that were deferred. You're actually perfect to be here in the academy because you have the time to invest. You have the, the message. You have experience. You have something to say. Um, and you also come from a culture that works hard. So, so good work ethic is very, very important uh, to achieving greatness here. So... We're speaking to artists who want better and more control over what they're doing in their canvas. They want to be able to relate the lines and the spaces and the values and the temperatures and the story and bring it all together. Um, and if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for a greater level of ability to manage the nuances so that your artwork actually does what you intended it to do, then this is the perfect place for you. And if this message and these ideas that you've been seeing in these videos, now 22 of them, resonate with you, then we need to get in contact, okay? Because come 2007, we're shutting the door. So I want to see 80 to 120 artists in there. And come 2017, we are just... <clears throat> downloading we're just giving you all of our attention and we're going to cultivate um uh you into an amazing composer not only to help you compose uh your artwork but also to give you the skill sets because the composer's mindset is is is, a, is a, that's what it is it composes so not only will it compose uh your artwork but it'll also give you tools and a mindset to compose your life or the relationships that are in your life. For example, your, your, your spouse relationship or your relationship with your children. That's what the whole manifesto is about, right? So my question to you is, what is your family manifesto? What is your manifesto as an artist? What is your architecture? What is your, your, your grid? What is your armature? Um, what is, you know, do you have a manifesto for your studio? Uh, your studio is a business. Do you have one for your business? You know, what are your core values? What are your core gamuts, as we call them, uh, for your studio, for your life, for your relationships between you and your children, between you and your spouse, between you and your brother or your sister or your family or whatever the relationships are? What are the core values of those things? And that's what the manifesto does. That's what the armature gives the rectangle um, and gives the artist to learn how to compose in. So on that note, I want to wish you guys an amazing weekend. I'm still going to bring two more shows this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Ching, ching, ching. So, but I just wanted to keep it a little lighter today. Uh, we had an amazing week. And so uh, enjoy this little video. And I'm signing off because I'm starting to... Blab. <laughs> Talk to you later. Ciao.